the coverage you can count on. This is the KFOX 14 Morning News. Good morning, everyone. I'm Kajal Dashi. We finally made it to Friday. It's August 28th. Meteorologist Brad Montgomery has the day off. But let's check in with weather forecaster Asia Hood, who is live in West El Paso this morning. Asia? Good morning, Kajal. So here's a crazy idea. Take the person who does weather and put them outside where weather is actually happening. And we're here at UTEP where Minor Palooza is going to take place later tonight. They'll have more activities throughout the day. But surprisingly, it feels pretty good outside. No raindrops and it's pretty comfortable. If you take a look at our radar right now, you'll see that the skies are fairly clear over El Paso. No rain at this point. That won't be until probably later tonight. Our high for today is 96 degrees in El Paso with that 20% chance of rain. And in Las Cruces, 94 degrees with a 30% chance of rain. I'll tell you more about what we can expect to see here at UTEP this morning just ahead. Selena? Thanks, Asia. Time to help you beat the traffic this morning. So far, things being pretty quiet here in El Paso. Citywide view showing a lot of green out there this morning. Not too many areas with slowdown. Now, we do have one thing to update you on, alert you on from PD, and that is a man walking on I-10 westbound right now near, near downtown area. Police are out there trying to make sure that everything is good. He is off the highway. They should be clear in the next couple minutes, but if you are traveling I-10 westbound at downtown, see some police. Just give them their space to take care of things and be careful. We'll be keeping an eye on the roads for you and updating you with both weather and traffic always together every 10 minutes. Kajal. Thank you, Selena. At least four people are dead this morning as Tropical Storm Erica barrels down on the Caribbean island of Dominica. The storm track indicates Erica could reach hurricane strength before hitting South Florida. Pictures posted on Facebook by the island's prime minister shows floods and mudslides overrunning it. He says Tropical Storm Erica has caused extensive damage, wiping out roads and swamping villages. If the eye reaches the shore, Erica would be the first hurricane to make landfall in Florida since Wilma struck in 2005. Florida Governor Rick Scott wants to make sure residents aren't complacent. Stay informed all weekend and know this is, this is we're in hurricane season. This is part of being, being, a, a, uh, being prepared for your family, taking care of each and every one of your family members. The governor recommends stocking up on not only water, gas, and batteries, but also prescription drugs. Trending online this morning, this weekend marks a dark and painful period in New Orleans history. It's been 10 years since Hurricane Katrina made landfall. And across the Gulf region, more than 1,800 people were killed, and at least 1 million were forced from their homes. KFOX 14 News reporter Ryan Nobles is in New Orleans to show us the recovery still happening now, 10 years later. President Obama came here to New Orleans to mark the 10th anniversary of Hurricane Katrina, devastating this city and a good portion of the Gulf Coast. The president said that New Orleans has made great progress, but there is still a lot of work to be done. Hope and healing. A decade after one of the worst disasters in American history, there's laughter. I did get a grease spot on my suit. But that's okay. If, if you come to New Orleans and you don't have a grease spot somewhere, then you didn't, you didn't enjoy the city. 